Okay, um, as most of you probably know, Minecraft is available on the Raspberry Pi and has been for some time. And the reason why that's really cool is because along with the release of Minecraft for the Raspberry Pi is they introduced uh, an API that allows Python and other languages to talk to the, the world of Minecraft. And uh, not, uh, you, can, uh, you can set blocks using programming and you can also read blocks back. Now that's really, really, really cool. Um, so I decided to take that further and um, uh, build a web application that can interact with the Minecraft world and present it as a map that we can see on screen. So that's, so I'll just show you, I've got, so it's in, it's gone to night mode. Time set day. Ah, there you go. Right, okay, so that, that is a Minecraft world. Oops. Try and move that over there so we can see them both at the same time. So that's a Minecraft world. This will work on a Pi as well. And what I'm going to do is not only is it map editor, but it allows me to modify the world in real time. So we go. It's not doing it. <laughs> I think it might be the Wi-Fi. Well, that's a shame. What what I was expecting to see there was to see uh, I can I can modify the map on the side and I can actually influence the world inside Minecraft, and I'm, do, I'm doing that using the uh, the same API that was developed for the Raspberry Pi version of Minecraft. Uh, so, I just, you can um, just I'll just show you, even though it's not working. I'd like we'd like to see that working actually. Let's try again. Sorry, I'm <laughs> going technical now. Sorry. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, it should just be loading up now. So I can spot from where I am. I can see one half here, one half there. Uh, there's one, there was one here. That's okay. There's been a husband there. So we've got three halves, I think. So Mr. Santangelo, yeah? Yes. Uh, we've got two here. Does anybody else draw hats? I have. It's a Minecraft. Okay. Oh! You can show us your Minecraft hats. Because we're going to have a competition later on. We've got a lady who's been pressing her pen, is that right? You, would you mind being the judge of the past later on? I'm not allowed to enter because I'm... Yeah, sure. Okay, that's great. Yeah. It's just because I was looking at your hat, I thought like, you've got a pretty cool hat, and so maybe you wouldn't mind judging some of our hats. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, it's very strange. I walk around person wearing my, my whale in the tiny hat, and I was like, oh, darn you people, yeah. recognise it. <laughs> and then there we go. So, it's... Sorry, right, okay, sorry about that, right, so it, it never works, does it, when it's like time, um, right, so yes, I've just, I've, I've actually just modified the world, so I can actually go one level up, so if I wanted to draw grass now, it's just like a paint program, so I can draw, so can you see that, and then, um, about, this is, a, this is a result of probably about six hours of hacking, so there's a lot, a lot more that you could potentially do with this, TNT, yes, I know. Uh, my, my nephew loves TNT. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, you basically, I mean, you can go nuts with this. I mean, if I wanted to just completely destroy my world, I could just do that. Do we need to stand back from the screen? <laughs> Wait a minute, that's your objection. Oh, yes. there you are. So anyway, you get the idea. Um, and I've, just just to emphasise that this is actually the map is actually 3D, 
I've just put a parallax function on so you can actually turn the map in 3D. This is using a HTML canvas. I don't know if any of you know what, know about that. But it's, so it's, um, and the way, just if there are any programs in the room, the way this talks to the Minecraft server uh, is, is using WebSockets. So this is actually a web application which I'm going to put online. Uh, you, and you, what you'll do is you just put an uh, IP address in of wherever your Minecraft server is located and you'll be able to basically modify your Minecraft world like it was a paint program. Anyway, so that's, that's pretty much it. So I just thought uh, that's it. Is there any questions? You're going to have to light it. You're going to blow it off. Yep. Just, <laughs> would you like to do the honours, Jack? Can we make sure we record this? Oh, I'm Yes, please. Which is about taking lights. 4,000 lights of TNT. Right, there you go, Dad. He actually knows more about Minecraft than I do. <laughs> you can see the explosion from the past explosion of the TNT rainbow. <laughs> What are you trying to do? Just trying to put this block. I oh, just no. I'm not sure. It. Please block. Sure. Does anyone know the answer to that? What what what, 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 what we doing wrong? Right click. Is it right click? How do you prefer? It's. I think it's left or right. It seems to be on the right side of the password. Right by the amazing you haven't done this before. <laughs> <laughs> it's the map version of Minecraft, it's just weird. <laughs> uh, you might just have to use our imagination. <laughs> the thing is I'm gonna put this on the web. I'm gonna put this on the web so everyone can use it. If you can exit um, so from my computer onto this it might work. It might do, yeah. I think we have to leave it now. So, so uh,